Good afternoon. Welcome to Life is a Mission Newsroom. Well, today we bring you the post-election um, press meeting from the Jamaica Labour Party and how the election went. Where they might went wrong from what, where they don't went wrong. And just before I do that, I'm asking you please to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Life is a Mission TV. Before I get into the press conference, I have two clippings I want to show you people of the wider world, of the diaspora. Oh, sometimes we as seniors, we don't conduct ourselves sometimes in the proper manner. And then sometimes because we know something is not written in the books, we intend to get technical when verbally it has been said that you must not be X or Y. But because it's not written in the law book or in the books, at times we as seniors, you know, blow things out of proportion and act in a manner like we are some of these young teenagers who is going around doing foolishness when we should be the ones setting the example we are not doing so and as I said I'm going to show you two clippings one of these clippings is from former secretary of the People's National Party Paul Burke where he went to a polling station but he went to a polling station into a printed shirt of his party an orange shirt with a slogan and the logo of the party up here when he visited the door I think there was an EOG worker standing at the door he asked him where is like PD 36 because PD is where you know definitely where to go and vote. Sometimes the polling station can have five, six PD, and the easiest way for you to know where is your PD, you get you get it by the number. So the electoral officer said, "Okay, yes, but we have in one slight problem, and that slight problem is you wearing the colors of your of the party." He started to get technical. No, show me where in the ray 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 blade. It said you cannot wear. Anyway, some other person in the background said, Come on, Mr. Burke, you come on the scene. So it's peaceful and calm and nice. Don't bother make it get noisy and whatsoever. Well, because he probably know it's not written in the books. It just was a verbal thought not to wear colors, wear colors off any one of the party to the polling station. He decided to proceed. They could not have done anything because it is by the books. It's not by, by the books. You understand? Said you must not wear it. It was just verbally. But from I am growing up, I have heard that don't wear no colors. Because one of the main things, you don't want to identify which party you support. You don't want to identify who he is going to vote for. You understand? Despite everybody know if he's going to vote, who is going to vote for. But the color. Verbal talk supposed to stand for everybody, whether somebody knows say yes or J, yes support or a P. Anyway, that is that. And I'm going to show you now the difference. I am not picking up for any side here, you know, but what I am just trying to get across here is we as adults who are supposed to be setting certain example. We as adults who are supposed to say, okay, we did already said this verbal despite it's not at the, in the books. Let's follow the procedure. You know, at times we try to get technical. I'm going to show you where the Prime Minister himself visited a polling station. And he was in his shirt also. He was not asked to take his shirt off at the time when he reached. Nobody greeted him to take his shirt off. But because of the verbal, um, probably commitment or the verbal agreement, he decided to take his shirt off and put on something more plainer. And I just want you to watch the response. 
between both men and tell me who is more professional where the system is concerned and you know who carry themselves a little better as an adult where I'm saying you're supposed to be setting example as adult so when I go down to the comment after I see these two videos and let me know what you think about the two situations despite as I'm saying it seems like it is not written in the books it was just verbal commitment let's not wear any colors to the party whether orange or green to the polling station if you are going to vote just for safety you know you don't identify who you support and at the same time a man can wear green and orange him support a man can wear orange and a green him support a man can live in a area where a green area and him put on a green gown but when him go behind the, the, the place to sign put him vote a orange him vote for so it not really you know but if you have a verbal commitment or a verbal you know come on let's go by and not get technical when the time come and go by the books but there's no law there so go down to the comment and tell me what you think and right after that when we will see the post press conference with the governing party after they have lose the election they go down and them go down and some details and tell you them lose the popular vote but them don't really lose the election if you lose the popular vote they lose the election because basically you know what they are saying they have more municipalities than the PMP you understand and that them feel like they are still on good footings knowing that they have more of the municipalities which is the, the local corporation you know I think two of them has tied the KCC has tied right now I don't know what the recount is going to be and whatsoever and I think them say Clarendon ties but stay tuned for all of that and listen up so all you people in the diaspora just tune in Life is a Mission TV subscribe to the channel I'm here to bring it to you detail by details as it go by so just subscribe so you can get your and press your notification bell so you can get notified to know that a video drop all right and as you see there's a lot more lot more things on the channel you know a lot more things very entertaining and refreshing channel yes man so stay tuned well well my people the quality of this video might be a little bit blurry because of where I'm doing this video you know the lighting the sun glare and stuff might make the video a bit blurry but I think the most interesting part is the audio so I'm just asking you to listen keenly because both men are I want about four of them it's the Prime Minister Minister of Local Government and the Minister of Finance they are all there and you supposed to all know them so just listen for the audio which is more important the message all right as I said the video quality might be a bit poor because of the lighting so stay tuned good morning um, where is station 36 please uh, we have just a small issue the first issue is that no there's nothing in Roha Act you tell me where in Roha Act it says I cannot come into this shop show me and I'll have you uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing in Roha. I just like ECJ Commissioner. Come on, it's a, it's a verb. Yeah, it's a verb. It's a verb. No, no, there yeah. is nothing in it's the Roha Act. We are allowed to vote. No, but why are they trying to come back? Twenty people. Okay, so you are allowed. It's an indoor agent that has to wear no insignia. Right. All right. Two lines. Um, Where's Thursday? So my people, I am coming up now with the next one. No, no, I, 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 you know what? Life is so fun. We, we expected that that would be the end life. But this is what we said. Can you imagine? We know that that would be the best. Uh, no one asked me to change my shirt. No one. I decided to change my shirt so that there would not be any criticism that I went into a polling station with my political shirt. But what it really says is that I travel prepared. <laughs> I am prepared. No, no, I, I, and I, you know what? Life is so fun. We, we expected that that would be the end life. But this is what we said. Can you imagine? We know that that would be the best. Uh, no one asked me to change my shirt. No one. I decided to change my shirt 
so that there would not be any criticism that I went into a polling station with my political shirt. But what it really says is that I travel prepared. <laughs> Some people may just want to tell me I want to get from that. Based upon what the Prime Minister has said, he travelled with a prepared to change his shirt. This just gives you the feelings that yes, there was verbal agreement. You know? Nothing might not be documented, but verbal agreement and commitment that let's not wear colours to the polling station. So go in and comment and tell me the difference between those these two gentlemen how them angle the situation and remember now one did not ask to change he reached and he decided to change because probably he know there is a commitment verbally where the colors is concerned wearing it into the polling station all right so let's get into the press conference post election press conference now and just listen up and listen to the ins and the do's and the no's what really transpired and what they have to say after losing the local government election what we can say to the nation is that the Jamaica Labour Party retains seven When they say won the municipal election, that means they win most of the local corporation. Largely. Now, 
there are, however, issues that have come up in the campaign, which the government has been seized on and recognized. And I think the people have, in their wisdom, found a way to communicate these issues through the balance to the government. The government cannot ignore this. As we went around the country, every member of parliament, every council contesting the election, would have come up on the issues of roads and water. Uh, these are not issues that are uh, that originate with the Jamaican government. These have been long-standing issues. Okay, people so there you have it but as you can see the quality of the video was a bit poor because as you can see I'm outside and the sun there was giving me a beating so the quality of the video was a bit poor but I hope that the audio was sufficient for you people because that's the most important thing because most of you already know the Desmond Mackenzie and your oldness and the Minister of Finance, right? Most of you already know them, so I think the audio is more important. So I want to hope that you hear well from the audio. So as I said, just continue to support this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Life is a mission TV. You know, like, share and subscribe.
to this channel. Very refreshing channel. Newscasts, cook vlogs, commentary, commentary on a whole. You know, a little drama, entertainment at times. You know, just check out the channel, man, and subscribe to the channel. Bless upon yourself. Until next time, just leave a comment down below respectfully. You know, no matter whichever party you support, whether the orange or the banana, the green banana, just leave a respectful comment below. Bless up and peace out.